Hello everybody, what's up Dennis Allen, City Boy Homesteader. Of course it just stopped. Oh no, there they go. There's a coyotes. Holy cows, look at this sunrise. There was a coyote last night. <laughs> Good lord. I was sitting right there and he walked between the car and the bush and went that way. Shh. <laughs> oh no. Shh. No. No. <gasps> Look how beautiful this is. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Look at that light hits the uh that rock right there. Still doesn't come up over us. Wow. Cool guy there. Cool guy there. Cool guys there. Cool guy runs the place. Big bag of poop. Not mine. But I was out here last night playing hacky sack. And chilling. They got a cool little setup here. They're all climbers, not me. Look at that thing. Look at that. That's where I am. It's for sale. They sell coffee. I'm getting free coffee. So just spent the morning with these guys. That's one of the locals. Give it a sec. So we gotta do the minivan. So we are taking a hike behind the campsite. The van's over there somewhere. Come on, Eddie. Oh, he's pooping. The park would not let us in. Poopy on them. But all day I've been hanging out with some cool guys over here. They are rock climbers. There's a lot of rock climbers in this area. And mountain bike, bike riding. I guess it's mountain bike. <clears throat> like total extreme stuff. Uh, look up. The Rough Riders. Eddie, come on, let's go. Eddie, come on. The Rough Riders, mountain bike, uh, shoot. I forget what it is. Is Rough Riders something? Just Google it on YouTube. Oh, Bob, Rough Rider Bob, or there's somebody's name, Rough Rider. Eddie, come on, let's go. He's a slow poke. I do have to watch out. He doesn't get, they don't get little pricks in their feet. Wow, look at the can. That's ancient. Um, Cause there are like little pricker things. All right, we're going for a hike. This was recommended by one of the guys. I've been hanging out all morning. Really cool guys. I'm talking about the unofficial history of these places and all the tribes, people, and different tribes, and different history of what the hell went on in these valleys. 
He might have a sticker in his foot. Please hold. Get away. Where is it? Where is it? She's stuck in hole. She was snorting in there. I was supposed to film that, Vivi, and you stopped. Get away. Where is it? Where is it? Get it. Get it. Get it. What is it? Hope it's not a scorpion. So I just found out from those guys. Eddie, do you have anything in your feet? I forgot to check. I really love the patina of this metal. I wish stuff in Pennsylvania rusted like this. Oh, uh, rattlesnakes. Oh, there's a trail. <clears throat> uh, rattlesnakes are not very popular in the winter. You don't see them a lot. So that's a good thing. I was very worried about rattlesnakes. Especially where there's signs everywhere. And I have yet to... Well, I saw that one rattlesnake I filmed on my YouTube video. But besides that one, I've never seen another rattlesnake. Uh, knock on wood. Oh, look, there's quail or something. Whoa, that's so cool. Did you see them? That's so cool. Come on, dogs, don't chase the birds. Baby likes chasing birds. She actually jumps after them. So that's the national park that we're not going in today. Actually, they said tomorrow they may go climbing and they could get me in for free. Um, and I have a place that I could keep the dogs. So I may go rock climbing with these guys tomorrow. I hope I do. Really, really cool. And then I could go see the park and I could hang out with those guys again. Um, yeah, I haven't really hung out with people in weeks, really. I talk to uh, Rebecca every day or so, a couple times. But besides that, I don't have much communication. Well, besides the dogs, obviously. And, hey, Eddie! Oh boy, where'd he go? He's off the trail. Eddie! And Vivi. Get over here! What are you guys doing? He's just standing there. I think he's just being lazy. Eddie! Come on! Now he's gonna probably poop. But yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Another update. I wore my boots. Thank you, Rebecca. So kind of different environment here, a little more sandy. Came across another ancient historical, I think this was called a dump site of rubber. I think they're called wheels. I think these people invented the wheel or the tire maybe. And this is what they do with them after they make them. Then this is recycling. This is the tin and glass department. All the plastic burnt away. I'm sure there's some this one shoe. Hope there wasn't a foot in there. Look at the wooden bridge going up there. Wow, look, more historical land sites. Ancient people. They're real. Made it to the top of the ridge. Look at that rock in the fireplace. There's no way, holy crap, we're far. Oh no, we're over there. I thought that was it. No, we're over there, not too far. Maybe I'll put it inside a road. I could drive up this road. Maybe, no, it's someone's fireplace. We'll leave that there. Respect for the ancient people. We're gonna go up there, there's a bunch of boards. Let's see what those are. Could be an old mine. Look at this rock. This is a really cool rock, the bedrock. It has these crustaceans or something that were on there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That's really cool. Some more right there, is that a fossil? Ancient brick. I mean, it's in the rock. <clears throat> but here's, wow, it's all over. 
petrified poop maybe I don't know I'm guessing but there's the ancient wood that is pretty old wood hey Vivi get over here so I'm thinking it came from up there so let's go to the top of this ridge there's nothing here so far wow look at that I wonder if I pull up this rock if it'll have fossils in there it's the crack between oh that's cement oh maybe not that's looks like cement that's not coming up so I was just thinking this rock didn't have any of those but then I come over here and look that's what that is I guess I don't know is it any idea looks like this would have became what we just saw again pure speculation look at this that little rock is in that may be a federal crime. I've been committing a lot of crimes recently. What is that? A dinosaur bone or something? That's something in there. Totally different. Could be a tree. But look at this, the sides of it. You see that? So there's more of that stuff. Some there, some there, some there. What is it? I wish I paid attention in school. Actually, I don't think they probably taught me this. Uh, look, there's just like a nugget of it. Did I come off? No. This is not a hammer. So we made it to the top. And what is that? It's just all tiny rock. All big rock. Big chunks of stone. Stone. The big stones we were all looking at. Big chunky, 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 chunky. And then, broom. Was this Phil? Or was this like a quarry site? Wow, maybe it was a quarry. Looks like it woke up. Why else would all these rocks be here? Another riddle that I should have paid attention to. But that looks like it was man cut. Or woman cut. Not being sexist. So... The only thing I am 80% positive of, of this stuff, what it is, it does look like petrified something. Because I know from the petrified forest, the rainbow forest or whatever, petrified wood gets the same kind of different colorly, kind of like glassy finish. And then look, there's little somethings in there. But, I mean, could that be marrow? Bone marrow? I don't know. Just little air holes. Baby keeps finding stuff in the rocks. I love this stuff. There's Eddie Murphy. Vivi, you gonna come over here? Can you do it? Can you do it, Vivi? Oh, that thing. So here's just a random chunks of rocks pushed out. if I can step on that. It's kind of teeter-tottering. <clears throat> you don't see any of the fossils in here, or whatever the heck they are. Look at this one. What is that? That's a sheep. They are sheep. Someone's property. Texas, folks. It's a hell of a state. Oh, so this piece I pulled right out of the ground. It completely came apart. That's what I should have shown you. But that's what it looks like. It's stuck in the middle. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like so. It could be a mix of different things. Again, my uneducated guess. I bet that was some kind of mine. I found some burnt wood and then I dug around a little bit. And there's more wood here. Pretty new wood, newish wood. A particle board. And the other wood I found was down there. So I'm just assuming the wind's blowing from my back. Going that way. It's a valley. 
we may get a sandstorm. It's very windy. They say 40 or 50 miles an hour wind will cause you can't really see much. But it doesn't look like it's happening. Maybe it will. I don't know. Weather changes. But that whole area right there, that's where all the hikers and mainly the uh, <clears throat> rock climbers go. You need guides in there for certain trails. And it used to be much more open, but it's kind of like an oasis in there. There's trees and different wildlife and beautiful plants. So hopefully, get to go. just pull this one, this one out of this hole. But see, that doesn't even look like petrified stuff. I don't know. But look at the surface of it, especially this one. Doesn't that look like? Take that back. Kind of look like lizard skin. A little bit. Look like dinosaur eggs or poop. Too round to be poop. I don't know. Maybe that, that just, just sounds fake. Fake news, folks. But that's definitely something different than this. I don't care what degree you have. If you say it's the same, I'm going to say. Is that like some kind of dinosaur skin? Let me get on this again. With a different camera angle. Why can't they just make one camera right off the finagles? Come on, science. <clears throat> there was a... The guys I was hanging out with, he told me that... Definitely petrified something. Um... They found camel bones in one of the caves around here. So just to be fair to the other people out there that think I'm um, loca in the cabeza. Wow, look at that thing. All right, so that kind of looks like bait, right? But look at this. That kind of looks like, I don't know, that doesn't look like uh, dinosaur skin. Maybe that's a dinosaur foot. See, I don't know what the heck to think. That does not look like the imprint. It's not. Maybe it's not the same imprint. But this thing, see that's kind of the, well, I don't know. Oh, this crystal in there, is that a sign of something? I have no idea. The bottom of it looks like just cave stuff. Normal coral, former coral, I don't know. Formerly known as coral. Oh, look, the whole egg came out. Is this disturbing nature? I don't know. I'll put it back when I'm done. <clears throat> That's not true. Yeah, this is a, a prehistoric egg that I should have kept. I could still keep it, but maybe said she would not carry it back. So just in case I didn't say it on this video, um, that is Hueco Tanks State Park. It's a state of Texas park. That's why I had to pay. Look, there's an ancient foot. Um, H-U-E-N-C-O or C-H-O or something like that. Texas, between going from Carlsbad to Town and Country. No, uh, what was the name of that thing? Truth of Consequences, the TV show. That's all I gotta say. Oh, and the elevation is 4,500. That's why I sound like a different person, I think. I've been breathing different, high altitude, freezing cold air at night, <clears throat> but I've been staying warm. That's all. 
that's all folks okay so not to be too crazy but that did look like a foot that's the first one I showed you but it looks like there could be others here too maybe there I don't know there's some, some footprints or those are just um, see they're just little ribbons I'm getting too far folks looking for ancient footprints they're not even giant sized ones I mean the guy would be a little bigger than me still no hour heads why does it smell like natural gas? All right, here we are with my drone flying over an old ancient cave where nothing ever happened in 13,000 years ago. I fly over this mountain, pan over to that mountain over there. Oh my God, a giant dog. There's another one somewhere. That's just a little crack, folks. Is that funny? Did, did you really think it was a drone shot? Probably not. I'm just being corny. She's a thing. I found the evidence that we were looking for. It definitely looks like a hole. I have no idea what that proves, but I do concur. This is like a little... It doesn't look like a quarry. The other one kind of looks like a quarry. This one just looks like a sinkhole that continued to sink. That's what dinosaur brain. I don't know. Kids, if you're watching this, my grandkids or something, maybe one day. Oh, well, that's a pretty cool. Um, Grandpa has no idea what he's talking about. Or he's the smartest man on earth. History will only tell. And if I write the story, it's going to be I was all wrong. Except for a lot of it. That's definitely fossil. <clears throat> Could be a plant. Who knows? I mean, people know. I'm just not one of those guys. There we go. We have more proof of absolutely nothing because water probably carved that out. But it's so cool. Oh, look, a little crystal. Ow. What is that? It's a triangle. It's a spaceship. That's not true. But, oh, look at this side before I shut this camera off. Ow! But that rock. That rock doesn't go on there, and then it goes down at least an inch. Maybe more. I'm gonna pull that rock out. Womp womp, just dirt. <sighs> Alright, yeah, this is probably just a pool of water when this was an ocean. Rocks probably made this, <laughs> ate everything away. Maybe one big rock. That's a lot harder. Probably still in there. <clears throat> Again, just an uneducated guess. Very minimal. I'll say very minimal educated guest. Oh, I lost a dog. I see one. It's so funny, it's easier to see Eddie than Vivi. Vivi! Maybe because she's not in sight. So the difference between Eddie Can you see him? And Vivi is that <clears throat> Vivi pretty much follows my foot tracks my trail, whatever trail I took. And Eddie, oh this thing's cool, I'm taking this. Eddie does not, he likes to lag behind and then he finds the best possible route. Cause he knows I'm not a good navigator. I got the great boots on. Thank God I wore these. I would have not been able to do this expedition to the top of a mountain. I mean, it is a little mountain bump. Top of the hill. That's called the Winning Hill. Am I recording? Yes. All right. We're going back down there and all the way to over there. More ancient relics from a past unknown. 
Is it a Magnum box? No. Oh, is it a Nintendo? No way. No, it's not. I have no idea what it is. Eddie doesn't know either. So that one, that's just a random rock. I don't think this would have been put here. It's too big. Or the quarry really screwed him up on the size. <clears throat> but he's totally different than all the others. Look, there's an old ant wall. I'm keeping you this one. I'm so glad that I drove because I wouldn't be able to keep all these pieces of junk that I'm collecting. No, they're really cool. I'm glad I'm doing it. Just finished the end of the water. Look, another dinosaur skin. I'm gonna keep that one too. Look, I've been twisting, I twisted the rope together. I can make a hook out of it. Do you know how you can do that? Just twist it back. Very simple. And it'll be safer in the back seat with two dogs. I'm taking that. In my pocket. A pocket full of rocks. Pockets full of rocks. And truck. That's a cool stone I just found. I had to turn at the old plastic junk. I was about to defense. Oh, where are the dogs? Come on, baby. We're homish. See, there's proof that he knows what he's doing. He literally found the trail before we did. Vivi and I went this way. And Vivi's gone now. Vivi, come on! Let's go! see or breathe. My mouth is full of grit already. A big dusting just came through. So luckily we weren't out there. I think we were right up there somewhere. The smallest one. Guys, Eddie, come here. Let's go. That is un yeah, you can see it. That's today's spine, folks. Of dinosaur eggs diamonds seashells definitely a seashell I'll give you that give me that I mean <clears throat> but the rest who the hell knows not this one see look at this <clears throat> I guess that's all just from the construction material but it's the sandstorm oh what's all that Okay, so yeah, those mountains are gone. And the big sandstorm coming. Holy cows, that's real. I told one of the guys that I was hanging out with today that they were saying, oh, we're gonna get bad weather today. It could be a, I forget what color, out, brown out, sand out, whatever it was called, but I was like, hey, I've had perfect weather for two weeks out here. Wow, that's totally, you're not seeing anything up that way. Yikes. So they mentioned the UFO house. I didn't notice that UFO part before. When I first came here, remember I showed you that? I don't know if you guys saw it, but that's the UFO house. I think that's the local lawyer. I love it. He's like our Jim Brian. Punch it, Dennis. So, yeah, it looks like everything that I'm driving into is the sandstorm. Holy cows. I was thinking I was going to miss it. I was thinking maybe it was just going over there. But, nope, we're driving right into the thick of the shit. I've always been fascinated by sandstorms. Like what it would be like to have something as big as this block out the entire vista. There's a couple of sand quarries out here. Like this one, Garcia Rock Cove, 
think that stands for Coco Chanel. That's where they get the, I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. But that definitely is, those are just sand mounds pretty much. There was one on the other side of that, probably same mound. But here comes all the sand to replenish it. I used to go to the beach during hurricanes. I wasn't one of those cool guys surfing or anything, but I would go there and just watch the storm roll again. And these storms are way too big to, for surfers too. I didn't see any surfers. I forget which storm it was, but it was a big one. I remember we had to walk through like waist deep water blocks and blocks from the from the uh, ocean and the fire department came and kind of splashed us later again. Wow. My first stand storm. Thank you for coming. What do you think, B? You like it? We're heading to grocery store. Hope I can find it. Yeah, I gotta use my GPS. I'll be back. Wow, of course I missed it, but um, the sun poked out. It's kind of still poking out. But it got really bright as another Honda Odyssey started driving towards me. My life should be filmed all the time. I miss all the good stuff. Well, people are passing me. Track to trailer. Coming in hot, folks. Like Knight Rider. Didn't. Didn't. Alright, we're getting out <clears throat> during this hurricane. Uh oh, my lights are on. You stay here, dogs. Luckily, it's not. Oh, geez, I can't see. Sh shizzle tangs. Shizzle sands. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, I used to have poop in a car. I should get that out. Wow. That's a lot of sand. See, now I wish I had my mask on. Holy God. I can't look. Look for me, dude. gonna sweep up all the shizzle sand. Maybe many more. Huh. There you go. Oh. Fortunately I have to buy spring water. Oh jeez, I cannot see. Tell me when to turn. Oh look at the bag. Thank you, grocery store. Put my car down for two seconds, somebody stole it when I went to get my veggies. I came back, car was gone, so I had to go back outside. Still a big storm. So that stuff right there, $5.99 a pound. I asked that kid in the background for three quarters of a pound. He gave me almost two pounds. And I said three quarters. It's and he had no idea what that meant. And he works at a thing like that. We figured out how to get three quarters of a pound. Got some other junk, not junk, but food. I got sushi for myself tonight because I didn't want to cook. I'm not going to be able to cook in this thing. So the dogs got some, I think, ground beef that I was going to eat, my three quarter pound. Now you guys get ground beef. I was going to get them turkey. Going to the car wash. Got to get all this sand off me. Oh, there's a cop. Okay, remember yesterday when I came here? You saw mounds all over? Oh, there's some. Alright, they're still there. But they're not over there. Except for that one. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. <laughs> not as dramatic <clears throat> as I'm making it. But this is pretty spectacular. Oh, the name of the mountain bike rider is Rob Rough Rider. Check that out on the YouTube's. Really cool stuff.